<laughs> and that's all that I can do. Yeah. <laughs> that have to do. Please welcome Mr. Pickleweed Paul here. He hello, hello, everyone. Tamil Pass High School, class of 1965. That, 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 that means that 60 years ago, I was beginning my senior year. <laughs> We're going to have some old songs tonight by a couple of guys you may have heard of. If you haven't, you haven't been around. George Frederick Handel. There you go. <laughs> and Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. There you go. All right. But of course, I don't have an orchestra. I just have these six strings and my beginning guitar skills. Here's a song from Samele, in which the god Jupiter tells the girl that he has used and is now disposing of, that don't worry, I'll watch out for you. Every place you go, things are going to be fine. It's a tenor aria, but it's sung by everybody.
Thank, thank you. Thank you. Just a short walk from here, there resided uh, for nearly 40 years a remarkable woman who lived to be 93, uh, known by the imposing title of Madame Resek. Her grandchildren were just behind me as we progressed through Park School, Edna McGuire, Tamil Pius High School. A noted mezzo-soprano in pre-war Vienna, she had escaped from the Nazis in 1939, and after 10 precarious years of struggle, arrived with her husband and daughter here in Mill Valley by way of Shanghai. She took the long route. This refugee family sold fine fabrics in a shop at the entrance to El Paseo, just around the corner and up the street. And in the dining room of their house on Hill Street, Madame Bella Resick, who by the way, could sing almost as low as I could, mezzo indeed, <laughs> gave singing lessons to all comers, a would-be rocker a future winner of the international Tchaikovsky competition, an English teacher at Tam High. Some could walk to a lesson, some had to drive or be driven scores of miles. For decades, she staged annual recitals to showcase her students at the Outdoor Art Club right across the street from the shop. The weekly Mill Valley Record, with offices uh, right next door and behind us, and for whom I once reported on local sports, regularly ballyhooed these big events. Now, as you may already have guessed, one of her pupils, who never knew how his parents afforded it, was he who became Pickleweed Paul. During rehearsals for the 1966 recital, one of her female charges from Redwood High School, oh dear, <laughs> you won't recognize it when I say, go Indians. <laughs> anyway, from Redwood High School, who had only heard me do I'm getting married in the morning, ding dong, the bells are, was amazed when I practiced this short aria from Mozart's Magic Flute, chosen for me by Madame Resick. Why, Paul, I didn't know you could sing. I just love that every time I think of it. <laughs> All right, the high priest, Sarestro prays to the gods of Egypt for the young lovers as they embark on a perilous journey. Because the breathing tube injury to my voice has left my lowest notes softly purring where they used to rumble, I'll be singing it a half step higher than in 1966, just around the corner and up the street. And if they 
they fail facing tribulation. Think of their virtue, their tender hearts, your everlasting peace impart. Thank you very much. Pippa Paul, answering the musical question, how low can you go? <laughs> I can go lower, but you can't hear it. <laughs> Thank you.